Hi there everybody, I'm meteorologist Greg D. I want to do a quick weather update on this Tuesday morning before we got into the 9 o'clock newscast. Breezy out there this morning. Uh, we've seen a lot of wind and warm temperatures, mid 70s right now in Sarasota, low 70s in Tampa. Look at the winds in Sarasota, 25 miles an hour. No surprise, wind advisories are up ahead of our storm system. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. wind gusts, I think today, 40 to 50 miles an hour. Just before 9 o'clock, the wind's already 20 to 25 miles an hour. Out of the south. It is really, really windy. Now that is a key direction because the winds are paralleling the coast. We are not seeing a huge water rise right now. Tides are running above where they should be, but we are not maximizing those tides just yet and we're just about at a low tide now. Uh, wind forecast for the afternoon keeps the winds out of the south at about 30 miles an hour sustained, but take a look at the gusts. This is for 2 o'clock in the afternoon, just before the rain moves in. 45 mile an hour consistent gusts, Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater. Uh, there are going to be issues on the bridges, may even close the Skyway for a bit this afternoon. And then, of course, it's a crosswind for the Howard Franklin, Gandy, and Courtney Campbell. So you got to watch out with that. As of the 9 o'clock hour, the storm itself is coming up through the Panama City area, the squall line. We had a couple of supercells out ahead of it earlier this morning with significant tornado damage at Panama City Beach. Grand Lagoon area is where they had it. That supercell is now out of the picture. We'll watch the squall line head into northern Florida. And if any of these cells manage to pop up over central Florida, they would be severe as well. The timing on the rain has not changed. It's all 2 p.m. or 1 p.m. or so until 6. Earlier time, 1 to 2 p.m. along the coast, and then shifting east towards that 6 o'clock time frame if you live farther east, Lake Wales, Haines City, Sebring, and Avon Park. Severe weather threat also hasn't changed much, maybe shifted the uh, enhanced risk level 3 just a little farther south, northern Pinellas County now covered, most of us in the level 2. Now, this level 3, this upgrade, is not for the tornado threat. The tornado threat is a little higher than we typically see it. Typically, with these fronts, we see about a 2% chance of a tornado. Today it's 5%. What does that 5% mean? That means there's a 5% chance of seeing a tornado within 25 miles of your house. That's a pretty low chance, okay? That is definitely on the low end. You see the scale here. It could be as high as 30%. So we're nowhere near a high tornado threat here. What is high today is the wind threat. For the areas in red, Pasco, Hernando and Citrus County. The chance of seeing a 60 mile an hour wind gust within 25 mile, uh, miles of your house or stronger, 30%. You're six times more likely to see damaging winds near your house than you are a tornado in Pasco, Hernando, and Citrus County. Uh, for Tampa, Lakeland, St. Pete, Clearwater, Bradenton, 15% chance. So you're still three times more likely to see damaging winds instead of a tornado. Once the rain moves away, it's this evening that the coastal flood threat really starts to develop. Flood warnings are up, coastal flood warnings from Sarasota to Citrus County. From Sarasota to Hernando, worst case scenario is three feet of water about above ground level. In Citrus County, it could be as much as four feet. I just posted a couple of forecasts for Clearwater and St. Pete from one model in terms of how high the water will get. We're looking at about two to three feet above normal high tide. The tide I'm most concerned about is the late evening high tide. I know this is hard to read, but if you scroll down on my Facebook page this morning or check out my Instagram stories, you'll see this list of high tides from Venice all the way up to Hernando Beach. They're listed north to south. Uh, for instance, Hillsborough Bay, 1123 this evening. That's when the high tide comes in. Once this storm moves by, we will clear out, and Wednesday is looking a whole lot better. So here's the latest Futurecast in-house model. It does keep us dry through noon. Even at 2 o'clock, this may have backed up, slowed up a little bit. We'll get this line of storms approaching. What we will be watching is for two things. Number one, any cells that develop out of the head of this main line. These could be severe because temperatures will be near 80 degrees. But I think most of our severe weather is going to be in the line itself. For most of you, when you get this line, it's a strong, windy thunderstorm that lasts about 20 to 30 minutes. There will be very small segments in this line that have wind gusts of 60 or even even greater than 70 miles an hour, especially north of downtown Tampa. Similarly, there'll be small little areas like these, these little hooks where there may be a quick spin up tornado. These typically are not strong and don't last very long, but today the chance is a little higher to see those. By three o'clock, this line 
Coming up on downtown Tampa, Wesley Chapel and St. Pete. By 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it's coming up on Lakeland, Apollo Beach, moving through Bradenton and just north of Sarasota. Sarasota, you get it between 4 and 5. Wachula, it's coming up to you at 5 o'clock. Haines City, you're in it at 5. And Lake Wales, Sebring and Avon Park, 5 to 7 p.m. this evening for that strong line of storms. Then they move out and the temperatures fall. Early Wednesday morning, you'll need your thicker jackets as these temperatures will fall back down into the 40s early Wednesday, some 50s as well. Wednesday looks dry, late showers on Thursday, and then another storm system will bring us thunderstorms during the day on Friday and Friday night. This one, however, not as strong as the one that's moving through today. Another update coming up uh, in the 9 o'clock hour on ABC Action News and, of course, on my social media throughout the day. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Greg D. Weather.